seal is very important because this seal could easily uh, grow mold inside and also this seal sometimes has lots and lots of deposits so it's important to make sure you open here and check oh like for this one you can see you can see there is a coin inside here there is a coin there oh there is this there is <laughs> sorts of things eh? see there is even this one here and there is this all these things and there is smell also it's kind of smelly there is a funky smell emanating from the gasket yeah so you would want to check this area now you see all this Now if you have a smelly washer, the first place I recommend you check is the detergent drum. Now, this compartment here, you need to open and inside here you see it's written push, just press this one inside like this and you remove. Once you remove this drawer, you gain access to this compartment. You see there is a lot of soap scum inside here, all this. So uh, here. Uh, I'll show you how to clean here just using a toothbrush using a toothbrush I'll use this toothbrush and clean inside here I will also clean here at the top here and also remove all the soap scans and you know whatever debris that could be there you know clean it until it's super clean so once you've cleaned this department uh, this compartment uh, we will have achieved our first objective You can see now this is this is super clean now this is super super clean yeah this is super clean so now we're through now we need to we need to wash the drawer itself this one I just wash it again with a brush and a running water just like this Front loaders are superior and they do a great job using a little detergent and less water. However, stinking is among the few challenges you would face with a front loader. Odor occurs when there is uh, a lot of different moisture packets in the washer. So now it's super clean inside there. The drawer itself is super clean as you can see. So now what I need to do just return this one uh, inside yeah like that so we are done with this now after cleaning the detergent uh, the, the detergent compartment another place that you would want to clean if you have a smelly washer is the drum this area is very important now for this one once you open like this you find there is the drum but even before you clean the drum uh, you should seal is very important because this seal could easily uh, grow mold inside and also this seal sometimes has lots and lots of deposits so it's important to make sure you open here and check oh like for this one you can see you can see there is a coin inside here there is a coin there oh there is this there is <laughs> sorts of things eh? see there is even this one here and there is this all these things and there is smell also it's kind of smelly there is a funky smell emanating from the gasket yeah so you would want to check this area now you see all this uh, from them there then uh, there is apart from apart from here there is this area inside here again see there is a lot of smell as you can see here it's easy to for mold to grow you see because of the deposit there is a lot of deposit here and also you see the way it is it is very dirty and in fact with time mold was to grow here you can see the kind of uh, 
uh, the kind of that you get from there. So what I normally do, I just use a, a baking uh, soda water solution with a microfiber towel and clean inside here gently so as to remove all the dirt that is inside there. So uh, using a uh, uh, baking soda water solution, I just come with my towel like this and just wipe inside here. See? Just like this. Just clean inside here. Just go around gently so as not to to ring the gasket. Just go around cleaning like this. Like this. Just like this. Just here. Make sure it's clean it and then make sure I go around and clean. Around and remove. Place now is clean like that. So once I finish that layer, I told you there are two layers. I come to this other one here. Now this one is the one that is so dirty. It is the one that is so dirty. This one here. As you can see now. See all that, all that. You can see all those deposits. So I just just remove with the water solution. Yes, uh, and it's good if you can use warm water, okay? Yeah. Let's use warm water, clean all this area. Make sure that you are removing all this. See? Can you imagine you, you clean your clothes here? You think they are clean, but the kind of smell you get from your clothes, you are like, hi! So, it helps to know how to do this, huh? You can see the kind of uh, dirt that is coming from there. This place, you know, this is where a lot of dirt deposits. Then just make sure to go around like this. But the most sensitive area is down here. So like this. So like at the top there isn't much. But here is where there is a lot. So now once I've done here now uh, to make sure that you don't experience such a thing. I now need to clean the drum. But as you can see my drum is not that dirty. If yours is dirty, you can also still use a brush and then remove like all the debris that could be there using again the baking soda or a solution. But as you can see mine is clean. I regularly clean this machine. But for demonstration purposes, you can just use a brush if you have debris here and clean. Uh, even these holes, if you have something and you see like it's clogging, you can unclog them to make sure that your drum is also super clean. But for this one, it's not that dirty, so I just wipe like this, just around like this, like this, just to make sure that, that it's super clean. Just like this. And I'm still using uh, baking soda, warm water solution. Like this. Make sure that it's super clean so that your clothes are also super clean when they come from here. Just eradicate and eliminate the issue of bad odor completely. So once I'm done like that, 
Now I just take just take my, my baking soda solution that isn't just uh, just uh, just take uh, my baking soda solution. You could use like two cups here. Yeah. This once I sprinkle the baking soda like this, I just now uh, close the drum, switch on the machine. Uh, uh, I go for the hottest cycle. Uh, that could be maybe even the cotton cycle. But in my case, because I have the echo drum clean cycle, which is also uh, an excellent cycle for cleaning the drum, I just go for the echo drum cycle. And then it's going to clean at 60 degrees Celsius, which is not bad. So, uh, but if you don't have this uh, functionality on the machine, you could just go for the hottest cycle that you can manage with the machine. So, just initiate the cycle. And you know now the machine is going to run empty, just empty, cleaning, you know, cleaning the drum, and you know, using that soda. Baking soda acts as mild abrasive and it helps to scrub the inner parts of the turbine and the turbine as it fights odor. As you can see, now the echo drum clean cycle is at it. It's just cleaning the drum, you know, even the seal everywhere, you know, that kind of thing. And now that baking soda solution uh, is also going to help uh, to make sure that we eliminate any kind of odor that can be in this machine. Cleaning the turbine, the last step, if you have a smelly washer, is to clean uh, the filter. Yeah? Cleaning this filter is very important because, you know, if there is any blockage, it could also bring a lot of uh, issues. You see, most of the errors you, you, you experience uh, with this machine uh, is mainly caused by uh, the blockage of the filter. So, and before you open this filter, you need to open this emergency hose pipe, drink water, after you drink the water, then you open the filter. So now you need a pan like this, yeah, then you open, yeah, you open here, see? So, uh, as you can see, but here, uh, mine does not have uh, lots of water. But nonetheless, you're getting my point. Eh? Draining all the water from here, now I just return the cup like this. After you return the cup, then you just push this one back into uh, back to position. Now it's time to open this pump filter. Now, this one, uh, you just open it like this and just turn it clockwise like this and you remove the filter as I told you my filter is not that dirty because I had cleaned it eh? but I wanted just to show you how uh, you can remove it now if it has debris uh, like in my previous video the first time I opened my pump filter to cleanse I can tell you I was shocked it was so clogged and you know it had a lot of debris in fact the machine had displayed the SUD error now I have even did a video on this so you can go check it out you know how to clear the SUD error uh, you could just uh, you're just supposed to uh, to clean it remove all the debris clean it and after you've cleaned it's also important to you know to make sure you remove all the particles that could be inside eh? Just use your finger uh, to remove any particle that could that could be blocking inside here, as you can see. But mine is not that because I had just uh, cleaned it uh, a week ago, a week or two weeks ago. So uh, once your your filter is clean, and also uh, this place here is also. Okay. Just 
has returned just return your filter and clockwise like this and close it like that so then uh, you return uh, this don't close that's how you uh, clean your pump filter now uh, after finished with the filter and the turbine well, the last step is to now use uh, vinegar yeah this uh, compartment detergent so now you just make sure on all of them the detergent pour on the softener fabric softener and also on the pre-wash yeah just make sure you've poured inside like that then now you close after you close you now again run the eco drum clean side like that uh, using white vinegar is excellent because it is acidic and what it does is that it moves through the plumbing inside the turbine and kill bad guys and prevent your machine from stinking. It also removes soap scum and soap residue. So guys, these are normally get rid of bad smell from my Samsung front load washing machine. I just use baking soda, white vinegar and warm water. We've come to the end of today's video and if you found it helpful, consider subscribing. Also, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. I truly appreciate it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.